Hello and welcome. So today I wanted to show an efficient way to craft the first three satchel upgrades for Arthur. So that's the tonic satchel, the ingredient satchel, and the kit satchel. So before we get into that, there are a couple things that you'll need to do before we can actually craft them. Well, to be fair, there's two required things and then a couple of optional things depending on your current cash situation. So the first is we need to unlock the camp ledger. And then the second is we need to buy the leather working tools for Pearson. Now, here's where the first optional bit comes in. So in total, this is gonna cost us uh, around $244. So if you're running low on funds, there's a gold bar that is really close to camp. And I'll show the location uh, here. So you can get that gold bar and then sell it to the fence for 500 bucks and that's going to be plenty for us to get these crafted so then the second optional bit is picking up the legendary buck because that gives us a trinket it's got a chance to upgrade our pelts when we skin in the case of a misfire or accidentally using the wrong weapon when you get maybe a one star or two star pelt it's going to give us a chance to upgrade that to a two or a three star pelt. I think to upgrade from a two to three star is pretty slim. And again, this is totally optional, but with as many animals as we're going to be skinning to gather these materials, it could be pretty useful. So enough about all that. Let's get into the actual route I would take for this, assuming that you want to do the legendary and you have the gold bar to sell. Yeah. So the first place we're heading is towards Wallace Station and that's to get us an elk pelt. And along the way, we need to be looking for three-star deer and maybe a three-star buck if you see one. In total, we're gonna need three deer and one buck. And if you run across any of those, you can either use the bow to get a clean kill, or if you're a bad shot like myself, you can use the lasso um, and kill them that way. Oh. You know, and one additional thing you need to be on the lookout for, and I'm sorry about this, but we need a perfect squirrel. And squirrels suck to hunt in this game because they're tiny little demon spawns, they're hard to find, and they're even harder to shoot, but we have to have one. Uh, you'll need to use a small game arrow to shoot one because not even the varmint rifle can pierce their demon armor, but anyway, we just have to have a perfect squirrel. So once you've picked up that elk pelt, then we're going to go on to do the legendary buck. Uh, also, you don't need to shoot him like 128 times like I just did. But even if you do, don't, don't worry, it's not going to ruin the pelts. And that's true for all of the legendary animals. So after we get him, I usually make a quick stop at the trapper. And I'll show the location here just in case you haven't been here before. We want to make sure that we just sell the legendary pelt because all the other stuff that we have gathered is going to go straight back to Pearson for the satchels. Okay, cool. So once you make it back to camp, we're going to donate all the pelts you just collected to Pearson. And we need a second elk pelt. So you can head back towards Wallace Station, or you know, if you've already found another good elk location, feel free to go there and pick one up. But also again, and I'm sorry for this, but keep your eyes peeled for a stupid squirrel on the way. All right, once we've gotten that elk, and hopefully a squirrel, it's time to pick up the mission from Strauss. Now he's gonna give you three locations, but you only need to do one to unlock the ledger. And two of those people out of the three are out by Emwood Ranch. So we're gonna start heading towards the ranch, and along the way, again, be on the lookout for any three-star deer and bucks if you haven't gotten all three of those already. So after you've made it out to Emerald Ranch, go ahead and do the Strauss mission. Then when you're done, head over to the fence and sell your gold bar. Oh, also craft your legendary buck trinket if you happen to pick that up. So then on the way back to camp, you'll want to take two animal carcasses back for Pearson. And I don't think they need to be perfect animals, so any two will do. You can have one on the back of your horse and then drag another with the lasso to save time. This is also true for online. Uh, we need five carcasses by the time we're done. So anytime you're heading back to camp now, especially since you're not going to have an elk pelt on the back, just take a carcass with you and it'll save some time. So when we're back in camp, we're going to donate the carcasses and the pelts to Pearson and then turn in the money to the donation box. And then that's what's going to give you your camp ledger. 
So a couple things here. In the camp ledger, we need to upgrade the medicine wagon twice, and that's going to unlock the tonic satchel. And then after that, we need to buy the leatherworking tools for Pearson. So once you've done both of those things, you can head to Pearson, and depending on what you've gotten already, you might already have enough materials to get that first satchel. For the second and the third satchel, we're gonna need to make a bit of a journey. So we need a badger pelt and a panther pelt. And the best way I've found to get these both is to head to this location on the map, which is just south of Rhodes. Also, as a side note here, the panther pelt can also be used to craft the panther trail saddle. And if you haven't done that, I'll link a video uh, in the description showing it off. Um, it's awesome looking, and after the satchels, maybe think about crafting one of those too. It's a great saddle. Back to the task at hand. So we're heading south of Rhodes, and we'll need some improved arrows. So craft up a few of those on the way. And then also this is a good spot to look for a badger. Yep. And I've been pretty lucky finding one around this particular area here. Now on to hunting the panther. So hopefully you've already killed a squirrel and that is much more of a pain than the panther. So this is gonna be a breeze. Also you should keep in mind, if you get a two star or mess up your shot or whatever, you just need to camp out here for a couple of in game days and the panther will respawn. Also that means if you're feeling froggy after you've gotten the first panther pelt, uh, camp out and get a second one for the panther trail saddle, but that's up to you. And with that done, it's time for us to head back to camp. Uh, don't forget while you're on the way, if you haven't already donated five carcasses, then pick up a couple of those on the way. And also we need three valuables to donate to unlock the third satchel. And you get those by looting bodies. So I'm assuming that you've been killing everybody you come across, uh, either raiders or Driscolls, and have those. But if you don't, uh, take your time on the way back and get those before we get back to camp. All right. Well, that was a lot, but we are done. So after we are back in camp, we're going to donate the valuables to the donation box, head over to Pearson, donate the panther and the badger pelt, and now it's time to craft these bad boys up. I really appreciate you watching, and I hope this helped in some way. And if you know of anything that I missed or that would be helpful to other people trying to craft the satchels, or listen, if you just want to hate on the demon spawn squirrels, just leave it in the comments below, and I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again.